What's going on guys, Riley here. Today we're reviewing this 2002 Camaro Z28 with 34,000 original miles. It has a cam, headers, and well, pretty much full bolt-ons, full suspension. It's gonna be a good day. The way this car sits right now, it makes about 440 wheel horsepower and about 410 torque. Now that's a lot considering this car only weighs about 3,200 pounds. Now this car does have its fair share of modifications, however, we're still on the stock brakes, we're still on the stock rear end, so it's like a mix of like fully modified and fully stock, sort of. I guess what I'm trying to say is, the car is Houston stock. Now we'll get back to the modifications here in a little bit when we're on the driving portion, however, here's the back, pretty unsuspecting, it looks, you know, relatively stock from the outside. We got the nice little fishing lure here because, uh, well, self-explanatory. But overall, just a really clean car, and as I said, only 34,000 miles on a 2002. That's just unheard of. The interior is pretty much in perfect condition. I mean, this car is mint, and it's really cool that I get to review it today. Thankfully, this car is a six-speed manual, which is fantastic. And as I mentioned earlier, this is a base model car, so you have manual seats, manual windows, just manual everything, pretty much. No traction control, no stability control. This is a driver's car. You are one with the car, and that just makes it all that much better. So a little bit of cool history about this car. This car is now on its fifth owner, and the fourth owner was actually a performance shop owner who did all of the modifications to this car. Now, my good buddy who you're about to see owns this car, and this is pretty much his weekend fun car, as it was for pretty much the other four owners. But definitely a really good platform to just go out and have fun, as we talked about, manual everything, and uh, I'm really excited for this one. So I know y'all want to hear this Trailer Park King start up in the idle clip, huh? Here, hold this. All right guys, so before we set off on the driving portion, I figured I should introduce you to the owner of this beautiful Camaro. This is my buddy Day Day. What's up y'all? So today he's gonna be telling y'all a lot about this car that I do not know, because well, he owns it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this review started. This should be a lot of fun. I don't know where the keys are. They're in your pocket, Riley. Those are Hellcat keys. Here they are. All right, let's fire her up. Let the bald eagles fly. Hell yeah, brother. It's <laughs> a good sound. Definitely. Hey, a pigeon! Brother! Camaro, brother! Hey! All right! Throw a Mustang rev at him. <laughs> All right, Day Day, you want to tell everybody a little bit about the modifications done to this car before we get this cracking? Yeah, sure, no problem. So, basically, it's a 2 Z28. It's a 1SC package, which was an option code back then for no power anything. So it's kind of rare. Um, it was the lightweight strip out, hard top, no T-tops, crank windows, crank door locks, scoot them yourself seats, um, no power uh, anything, no power trunk release. And as for the mods, so it's a LS1, stock cubic inch, stock bottom end. Uh, it's got the Texas Speed stage two and a half heads, uh, Texas Speed Torker V4 cam, which is pretty aggressive for a smaller cubic inch LS motor. Um, back in the day, you know, if you would have told somebody those cam specs, they would have been like, yeah, right, that don't run. <laughs> so it's pretty aggressive. Um, the previous owner put a, um, a cloud twin disc clutch in there. Um, so the drivability is a little sketchy. It's a little um, tricky. Yeah, it's throttled by wire. So there's like, it's not electronic throttle body. Right. So it's really old timey with that twin disc clutch and the cam surge and trying to nail down the drivability with that throttle by cable and the old ECM that these LS1s have, it's kind of tricky. So, but once you get out of first gear, then it's all smooth sailing from there. Definitely. Yeah, speaking of that twin disc clutch, you know, it is a little bit tricky to get used to. It's, it's different, but uh, once you get it down, it's not so bad. But man, this car, it's just like, you get behind the wheel and you just instantly feel like you're just in a car that like there's no assistance at all. This is all you, and uh, that's just cool because now nowadays cars like 
that's non-existent. You know, everything has computers, it's traction control, stability control. That's all kind of you know standard. But throw it back to this thing, and it's good luck, buddy. You're on your own. Right, like that six gen ZL1 you just reviewed. That car yeah. makes you an awesome driver. This car, um, you know, <laughs> you better you're know going to find out real quick if you're a good driver, if you're a bad driver. <laughs> Like you said earlier, no traction control, no stability track. You start going sideways, you better know how to wrangle it back in because yeah. if you don't, you're done. You're just sliding into whatever's in front of you or beside of you. Yeah. on this car and it's it's been really reliable and it's just there's not many cars out there that can take that much abuse just be like okay and just keep going right yeah the, what i tell all my friends the harder you drive it the better it runs and it's really been true with this car so trying to find the weak link um you know i guess if i were to take it out to a drag event one weekend hold up some mickey thompson's i yeah. mean i'm sure the rear end would let go uh but other than that can't find the weak link in this car. No leaks, no, you know, no mechanical malfunctions. It's pretty solid, it's well sorted. Yeah. The previous owner did a great job. All right, here we go, brothers. It's so much fun. Like, if you were to go run this thing at the quarter mile, it'd probably run like a high 11 on a good tire. Probably. Yeah, if, it, if it'll hold together. But dude, you can have so much fun. That amount of power. Like, that's awesome. It's enough to where you can definitely lose control of this thing if you don't know what you're doing. Oh yeah. But it's it's also that perfect amount where you can keep it controlled and have fun with it. And it it's. Perfect. My good buddy Bubba Drift, one of the best drivers I know, an ex-pro uh, drifter. Mm -hmm. uh, he was one of the first guys to pioneer LS swaps in 240s back in the early 2000s. Um, he goes, hey man, I wonder if this thing will do a rolling burnout. I was like, what? He goes, let's check it out. We're doing like 45 and he just, I don't know, revs it up, dumps the clutch and we start going sideways and we're like <laughs> drifting down the road. It was so fun. He's such a good driver. That's awesome. Yeah. Man. Yeah, that's a little advanced for me. Yeah, me too. Uh, I'm like, is that a thing? A rolling burnout? That's tight though. I mean, like, cool, whatever. Let's do it. You're like, wow, I didn't know my car could do that. Yeah, I gay. like it even more now. I'm down. This car does a lot more than I know how to do, that's for sure. I just have fun with it. Dude, that's what, that's, that's like the word I would use to describe it is just fun. Yeah. That's exactly what I'm looking for. If you guys are uh, following the channel, you know I'm looking for a project car and uh, just something to have fun with. And this, this is fun. I could have so much fun with this thing. It's not really smooth. It's kind of clunky. It's, it's kind of uh, pers Personality. It's, it's a little character. It's a character, yeah. yeah. All right, one last pull. things like you don't fully grasp it until you experience it for yourself uh, yeah that's true it's, it's totally different
it up with the cow hood and just how just how trailer park trash Joe Dirt it looks, you know? Well, it's everybody, so tempting, though. Everybody just turns their heads and it's loud and you it's can't, like, it was definitely that guy. You can't drive it normal, though. No. The car's sitting here like, all right, come on, floor it, floor it. You won't do it, floor it. Come on. It's like, all right, fine, I will. It doesn't drive well below 2000. I know. It kind of surges and bucks. And it's like, yeah, bucking along, like, all right, like, come on, no. when, when are we going to go? Yeah. When, when, when's playtime? <clears throat> Twin disc clutch though, that, that's something that it would get it, annoying it, and stop and go. That's yeah. why this can't be like your only car. You yeah, gotta this, have this like an automatic daily. Exactly. Yeah. There's definitely a learning curve to it. You, you, you think you know how to drive a stick and then you get put in this thing and it's like, oh, okay, I gotta relearn how to do this. My well, problem. let me tell you, the mods on this car aren't as expensive. I mean, yeah, the head work, the cam work, the headers, yeah. all that stuff. But the other stuff, the suspension's not out of hand. Um, you know, the exterior cosmetic stuff is a two out of hand. Um, wheels are 17 inch. You really don't want to put bigger wheels on here. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it looks like a donk. It's just such a whole body style. It doesn't look good on anything bigger than 18s. So the rubber's cheap. I mean, it's not, it's not outrageously unaffordable. And I guess that's what makes these things so great is that, you know, they are pretty affordable and they're reliable. Right. And it's reliable, affordable, fun. Right. And that's... Those are like the three things a car guy looks for when they want to buy a potential car. And, well, this pretty much nails all three of those categories. So I guess guys, with all of that being said, I hope you enjoyed this review. This was definitely one of the most fun cars I have ever reviewed on the channel, which is cool to say because you know, it's a 2002 Camaro and who would have thought? But seriously, man, thank you so hey, much. No problem, for letting anytime, me do this. anytime. This was awesome. I really had a lot of fun and uh, there will definitely be more of Day Day here on the channel in the future. Anything you want to add last minute here? I'm good. LS power, LS swap the world. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching the video. We'll see you on the next one. Take it easy. You know what y'all should do? Y'all should check out my buddy Sean's store because race car, he's got these badass T ideas and designs on these t-shirts. And I got me to save the manual because goddamn, man pedal.